Okay, we're going to go over a procedure for turning on and starting up the Haas Super Mini Mills. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to press the power on button, big green button at the top left hand corner of the control. And as soon as you do that, you'll hear the machine start up and the control panel will start loading the software from the next gen control. And this process does take a few seconds. Uh, it is a little bit slower than some of the older units as far as boot up time goes. Okay, you'll notice that the light came on and the screen that said starting up has went away with the safety notes on it. And what we have now is the Haas startup procedure dialog. And as you can see here, it walks you through the process of turning on the machine. So whenever you get to this stage, I always say, make sure you read each one of those and follow the instructions. The first thing that it says, you'll notice there, it does not have a green check on cycle the door. So that is our first step. We're gonna cycle the safety mechanism inside the door. So we're gonna bring the door open and closed. And you'll notice that it puts a green check next to the cycle the door prompt. Next, it says turn the emergency stop button to the right to release. So mine has already been done, but if you press this in, you will see that green check goes away. And you can't see it on the film, but the red beacon light is going off, the emergency light. So we simply turn this to the right and it releases and we can do reset to clear the, uh, the alarm. Okay, the next step as we go down through our prompt is to press power up. And it even shows us a little picture of the power up restart button. The power up restart button looks a little different on this particular next gen control. It just says power up. A lot of the older machines would say power up, restart. It's the same button. So we're gonna press that button and you'll hear the uh, servos kick in and it starts to move the machine. It then puts a green check on that dialog and the next thing that it says is press cycle start to run a program. Well, obviously we're not quite ready to run the program. So we're gonna jump all the way down to the very bottom where it says cancel to continue. And that's the step that a lot of people get hung up on you're gonna to have to press this cancel button to get out of that prompt. The machine is now started and it is ready to begin the CNC setup process. Uh, one of the things that I do at this point is always make sure the light is on. Some machines have a button over here on the right hand side that allow you to turn on or off the light and uh, kind of get this machine ready to go. So real quickly before we turn off this video, I'm going to show you how we can hand jog the table over to the front of the machine. Now we're in the mode where we can press hand jog or handle jog. We can pick an increment of move, which I'm just going to do 10 thousandths at the moment. And I'm going to pick my X axis. Now you'll notice there's an X positive and an X negative. It does not matter which one of those you press because it only matters the direction in which you turn your jog wheel. The X positive, X negative is a feature that's there for whenever you're in jog lock. So we're gonna press one of the X's and then you can see, whoop, need to press it. You can see that I can now move the table over to the front of the machine. 
Okay, and then I can press the Y and I can move it forward or back as well. Z, of course, will move the spindle up and down. All right. Okay, we're going to pause this video at this point, and the next video that we do will be strictly on setup procedures for the program.